Hello, everybody. We're back on the Vicky Gotti Show. Yes, we're back with the icon, Leah Richards, you guys. Now, Leah, now, on a serious note, it was two things you said the reason why you left the ballroom a little bit. Why you, you know, not really left, but you took your hiatus. You sent your daughter, Christina, out. Mm -hmm. And then now, the procedures, people was reading on blogs, saying nasty things about you. Um, it was just a mess at a time. As they may do on this one. Right. Now you're, well, like, you're thinking. Well, the girls. The girls are always going <laughs> to do. You could look fab. The girls are going to read. You could look, you know, the girls are going to read, period. That's what the girls do. Right. But, Leah, what happened with the surge? The surge? What happened was, I think, it, I'm not sure if it was 2005 or 2006, but one of them two years, I was going to come back into the scene and walk the POCC ball. Okay. What year was that? I think it was 2005. I want to say five or six. It's one one of them two years. Okay. So, you know, um, you know, being that I had been away for so long and the work that I had done, you know, when I did have my work done, you know, it was done where is in 15 years I could get a little touch-up. Mm -hmm. So the whole focus was getting a touch-up. So I went and got the touch-up. The seal went in and everything. So it's one little area like right here that I was like, hmm, I didn't follow my instinct. Now, my brother told me, just let it go down and see what happens, because it might be unnoticeable. Right. But at that time, the girls were swirling with the rumors of cortisone dissolved silicone. So, I told my supplier, if they could get the cortisone, just shoot me with it. Mm -hmm. So, they shot me with the um, cortisone. I said, well, shoot it again. I made him shoot me three times. Cortisone do the reverse. It does not eat silicone out. What it does is it make it expand. Mm. So what I'm saying is, it's like I'm looking at y'all now. So if I had looked up in the ceiling like I'm looking now, this side of my cheek was out here. Wow. So for like people who's looking, you know, what you're seeing now is um, this is the third year of surgery. And I have to have one more. I'm still in um, healing process because the nerves in my lips have to come back before we do the next procedure. So that's what I spent my time doing, trying to get that out of my face. Because not only did it grow, I let you feel earlier. I felt it earlier. It's mm -hmm. hard. Right. So that's something they have to cut out. But you have to be really careful in who you get to do this because it can paralyze the side of your face. Right. So like right now, what y'all witness is... is I lost all the nerve in his lip from the surgery, healing, but I'm getting the nerves back. So I'm like in the middle here. Once I finish this, then I'll go back and he'll come in on this side and remove it and remove a little more. And it'll sort of give my face that little normalcy. Right. So that PC, that POCC ball, when I think about it, or I think of a ball, I sort of kind of cringe because it was my mistake. Mm -hmm. So I can't blame anyone right. but myself because it was my choice and I should have listened to my brother when he said just wait because mm -hmm. I would not even be going through this. Right. But um, that's what kept me away from the ball. So then I debuted again, you know, that year when I had the first surgery mm -hmm. and I came to James Ball. Then I went to a ball in Chicago and someone took a picture of me and they have this website where they have the... Um, the icons and legends, it's like paying homage to, you know, celebrities of the ball scene. Right. And the one child took the picture and put it up there and said, this is the iconic Leah Riches, whatever, and it was cute. Didn't like the picture, but it was cute. Mm hmm Some shady faggot that had some website, which some of y'all girls may know, what's whatstease.com, mm -hmm. um, took that picture and put it on a category that they had, hot mess of the day. Right there, someone called me and told me about it, and then I went to this site. Now, with everything that I was already dealing with for something that I did, I was already suffering. Right. Didn't cry, was strong, believed in God, you know, there's a will, there's a way, we're going to fix this. Right. But to see someone take a picture like that in that situation and throw it on a website, it's it's not even shade. It's malicious. 
Mm -hmm. And the sad part is that same queen that did that and was doing all the other things, taking the lovely girls now, old pictures from websites when they first started out, putting it on there as hot mess of the day to get to entertain the queens. Now that same queen is in jail because she was crafting the people that was using their web cards, web, um, credit cards on that website, mm -hmm. and she was crafting them. So I was already a private person way before that, so that just pretty much made me just step back again. Right. So after I did that last ball, and when that picture went up, I stayed away mm. once again. Once again. Then I had to have procedures done. Then I became the matriarch of the House of Tsunami. And then when they had the little ball in Philly, mm -hmm. I went. And, you know, I just walked out there. I'm like, if they're going to read, let them read. Because I know chances are it's going to get on the website. Unlike the era I come from, there was no website. Yeah, it was no, <coughs> at that time, I mean, we were talking on the phone. Right. There was no born personalities like myself, Caesar, mm -hmm. or Luna. Mm -hmm. or It was none of that. Yeah, didn't have that, right? But what we had, we had a oh. scandal sheet. Yeah, had a scandal. <laughs> oh, I mean. What's a scandal sheet? Honey, someone would type up a sheet of an event that happened at the balls. Mm -hmm. Or whatever happened at that ball that was scandalous or just something going on with a, a, a ballroom figure, a, a ballroom star. It was just a scandal sheet, so they'll make copies, pass them oh out at the club, then you read. I wouldn't have to been at a ball to find out what happened. Oh, Miss Vicky slapped such and such and such, and, you know. It'd it be just, all over the sheet. Yeah, it'd be on a scandal sheet, but it was so malicious that they stopped it. Oh, my know? God. So it stopped, but we didn't have this kind of media mm -hmm. where you could take things, you know, and put them up. But I always said to people, and when people meet me in person... They, you know, some may ask, mm -hmm. or I'll just offer to tell them, you know, what happened so they can have an insight and not just think that this was something that I wanted to do. And for the girls that have, did work in their face, um, and it's too much still and you want to remove, um, you get in contact with Vicky, Vicky could get in contact with me, I could give you the number to a surgeon down here, he is excellent. Because what I'm going to do, Vicky's going to probably show like some before and after pictures. Oh, but first of all, you guys, before you go any further, Leah, if the, the, the people who don't know who she was, was a sitting babe, baby. She's still a beautiful girl, but I'm just saying, you got to see what it was giving. <laughs> yeah, so. But go ahead. And, you know, it can help them because I know sometimes we can make decisions that we didn't make. And then you don't want to go all the way to Thailand or... Yeah, All these the places the girl's son got died on the table. So he's a legitimate plastic surgery that deals with transgender women and other people. Mm -hmm. He does plastic surgery, corrective um, cosmetic surgery for anybody you know who got too much silicone in their face and they want it removed. Mine is a hard issue because it wasn't the silicone, it's the cortisone and you felt how I've hard it was. Yeah. So that is what has to come out but they have to be careful because what you touch it's close to my skin. Mm. If they pull too much out, then it can be at home. Right. So well, hopefully that would not have right. everything go well <laughs> Ooh, with Leah. Honey. Hopefully everything's going to be well with Leah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, that's the whole story that's the on the story, that. you guys. So stop calling me hot mess of the day. <laughs> yeah, stop it, you guys. And, uh, now, Leah, now let's that's, that's back into Film Queen Performance, the okay. reigning category. What would you like to see in Film Queen Performance today that they don't do anymore? Um, I would like to see the girls with a prop. You know, um, and we're, we're talking about that now, too, because my hair is down because Vicky had me up in here. Vicky wanted to see I wanted why to see. I was who I was. And, and I she gave it to me. What a prop. Showed him the spins. Showed him that I could do what the girls are doing today. A little soft dramatic, mm -hmm. I gave. And y'all will see that You're going to see it. I will have footage. <laughs> so that's why my hair is down, because he had me in here voguing mm -hmm. in the name. But what I would like to see, I would like to see um, the girls do different things like we did. We rolled with a prop. We team performed. We team performed in battle. The mm -hmm. one that your team, and, you know, make it interesting. Um, not taking any weight thing from away from the new generation today. But if you keep seeing the same thing over and over and over again with so many 
states and cities having balls, it's going to tend to get tired if change doesn't come. Right. So, I could look at, when I first saw Between Vogue and Femme, and then I saw the new Femme Queen Dramatic, for the first few balls or tape, um videos that I saw online, it was eye-catching, it was entertaining, it was fun. But, I'm waiting to see something different. Right. So, you know, like I showed you with the props. Mm -hmm. Honey, let the girls come out with the props. Yeah. If you, if, and I'm going to say this to the girls that walk around with their head up in the air or their nose up in the air, like you the Vogan diva of all divas. Vogan is just not with your hands. Or, if you, Leah, the hair. <laughs> the hair, right. Was if, you doing that too, spinning the hair? doing like Not the hair. The, okay. I did the dramatic the for you. Okay, okay. When okay. I grabbed the hair. Right. Um, but no, we didn't do the hair. Um, you can do the hair, mm -hmm. but do something else because how much it is, <laughs> how much it is, you're, this ain't even a pop. Like it's not, what, what is this? What, what's that? <laughs> I mean, where is this? Where's the, you know, where's, where's all that? Where's the, the story to, to you feeling, you know, cunt. Right. That's, that's what you want to feel. You can work with anything, your hands, your nails, you know, just let them know this is what it is, you know. Mm -hmm. So, they need to start popping more, but the flyers need to request what they want to see. Because if I had to throw a ball, and I'm offering a $1,000, mm -hmm. them bitches are coming in costumes. They're going to vote with a prop, mm -hmm. any kind of prop. And I want that prop to stay in your hand like we had to do back then from beginning to end. Right. Ain't no come out with the production, then you go into it. If you can Vogue, Vogue. And, and one more thing. I have nothing against Daha. Love the song. Cause we it heard came, this before. It came out in my era. Mm -hmm. But that will put you to sleep to see every single girl. If you got 25 girls that's about to Vogue and we got to keep hearing this damn song... That's when I'll go outside and have a cigarette, cigarette. or a cocktail. <laughs> I don't even smoke weed, but I'll go out there and take a little swig uh -huh. if I have to. Right. Give us different beats. I different mean, beats. We but do you blame the people, though? I mean, not the, the performers, but that could be the DJ. That could be the commentator. That could be the judges not really judging the correct way or chopping. They got all this stuff that's going on earlier in the day and age. That's what I said. Politics. It's I said in another interview, it, it's all in the people that's throwing the ball. Have your dahas, you know, but you know, have other things because there's other musics that you could use for them to vogue. Because someone told me, uh uh, Miss Thing, I can't vogue. Um, you got daha? I was at a club mm -hmm. and I walked right over to that little young child. I said, You can vogue? She said, I vogue down. I said, You can vogue? She said, Bitch, I vogue in the name. I said, well, bitch, if you can vogue in the name, then you can vogue to any motherfucking beat that comes on. You can play Miss Mary Mac. Right. And vogue. <laughs> That's how we did it back then. Right. You played anything. It could be a pop song. Tiffany singing something, honey. You can vogue, vogue to any motherfucking thing. Now, another thing I want to ask you, because Letitia, shout out to Letitia, she did the show. Hey, Letitia. Now, she don't like the girls voguing in socks. Butch Queen, I don't think she like the Butch Queen. Or she like the Femme Queens. How do you feel about that? It, it's tacky. It's tacky. The one, two th the one thing I could say, the two houses that I came from, House of Legend and House of Riches, we were upscale houses. Mm -hmm. And that's a fact. And um, you should always look good when you perform it. So coming out in socks or no shoes, if they do that, chop them. And on that note, we're going to come back.